<laughs> you mean I am not holy and innocent? Are you holy and innocent? Oh no, by the time we get to the hostel room, by the time you start begging me for something, we'll know if you're holy or innocent. Let's go first. It's you that will be running down. <laughs> I don't, I won't allow this to continue. You know it's a sin. Yes, I feel the same way too, okay? I feel it. <laughs> but I can't resist. I can't resist you. Can't can we just kiss you. and stop? Just, just kissing, it's fine. Huh. Uh, uh, do you know when we start kissing? You know that this is my small stand. I want to stand. Cannot go down again until we do the other one. Oh, come on. You see, uh -huh. Reverend Father said that whenever we that whenever I, I come in sin, I can come to I can come for confession and after that God will forgive me. Mm. Yes. So I mean it's left to and go for confession. I I think it's a good idea. <laughs> Bless me, Father, for I have sinned. I have not been coming for confession. I think the last time I came for confession was uh, last year. I have sinned so much. I don't even know how to start. You see, my daughter, you can start from anywhere. Anywhere you can remember. Father, I committed fornication. And I've been doing it since with my boyfriend. Holy Mary, Mother of God. I've always lied to my parents. Sometimes I lie to them that I'm going to church. And I end up in my boyfriend's place. I cheat in the exam. In fact, I carry several books into the exam hall. It's okay. Our God is an ever forgiving Father. No matter how heavy and deep your sins are, provided you are ready to forsake and turn away from your sinful ways, He is always ready to forgive and accept you back. It's okay. okay we have to say, one decade of erosion, one our father, one Hail Mary, and one glory be. Go and sing no more. Thank you, Father. Father. Same dear. Are you not um Steph, Father? Oh, Steph Nora, how are you doing? Fine, sir. But where are you heading to? I went to visit a friend in the campus. I'm going home, sir. Are you sure it's not that you Ah, Father! I thought you're not supposed to disclose confessions. And I did not. Uh, I did not. Besides, it's just the both of us that are here, no third party. It's okay, just come in, let me drop you off, okay? Thank you, Father.
Thank you, Father. I'm oh. grateful. Oh. Oh, you, you're welcome. Oh. Holy Mary, Steph Nora. Father. You're so beautiful. You're so beautiful. Are you the only one that is carrying all these things? <laughs> Thank you, Father. You see, Steph Nora, I will. You see, um, I'll need you to come over to my quarters tomorrow so we could uh, discuss. You know, do some prayer and counseling. Uh, let's say 6 p.m. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Um. I'll come. Oh, good, good. I'll, I'll come. All right. Take care, okay? Thank you, Father. All right. I was beginning to think you would not make it. Why won't I? <laughs> You're the only one that takes my confession and you promised me the way to heaven. <laughs> You're funny, dear. Well, I take everyone's confession and again, I am called to serve and that is what I am doing. So whichever thing you need, you can come to me, I will give it to you. And don't forget, Jesus Christ is the way to heaven. <sighs> That's very thoughtful of you, Father. You have a nice place. <laughs> you like the place? Yes. Very well then. You are always welcome. You're free to visit me anytime, any day. Seriously? Of course. <laughs> Thank you, Father. <laughs> You're welcome. So what can I offer you? Um, anything. Okay. Uh, you see, I want us to discuss about your confession the last time. That was why I invited you over. Father, what about my last confession? I thought you said my sins have been forgiven. Yes, your sins have been forgiven, but I don't want you to make mistakes next time. So I want to ask you, that's your boyfriend, does he use condom? Father, I wasn't expecting to hear that from you. You see the problems we're having in our society. We pretend a lot and in the end of the day we make mistakes. Right? Tell me, that's your boyfriend, does he use condom? Well, occasionally, yeah. See, that's very bad. It's very bad. He should use condoms all the time. Father, yes. I was expecting you to tell me to stop and time. Why should I? You are a young girl in your prime, and besides, we serve an ever-forgiving father, don't we? You're right, father. So, how do you think we, Reverend Father, survive? Yeah? We, we are human, and sometimes we desire flesh as well. I don't know about that, father. I've not done with the Reverend Father before. This is Steph Nora. You see, Steph Nora, we, we, we get help from people like you from time to time. You know, they, they help us ease up, build stress and tension. You know, and that brings me to the reason I was talking about uh, using of condoms to, to avoid you from getting pregnant and or you know, you know contacting a disease. Okay. So, so uh, you're going to help me, right? Come on, sit Oh, 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 oh,
for confession last week. But I seem to have committed fornication again, Father. And who did you do it with? Father, am I supposed to say here? Of course, your confessions are just between you and I. Okay, Father. I slept with the Reverend Father and my boyfriend last weekend. And to be honest, I enjoyed every bit of them. And I also stole money from my mom. That's a big one. Our God will always forgive you as long as you are truly repentant. Father, I don't know how to do this. I have fallen in love with the Reverend Father. The way he makes love to me. I doubt if I will ever leave him. That's so serious. And what about your boyfriend? I can leave him if the Reverend Father continues to make love to me. God have mercy. Amen. Okay, in that case, I think you will need to see me this evening for some prayers and counseling. Okay? Thank you, Father. May God be with you. Thank you. Say five decades of uh, rosary, one glory be, one our Father and one heavenly. Thank you, Father. Go and sing no more. Thank you. Bless me, Father, for I have sinned. For the last six months, Father, I have not come for confession. Are you not Boniface, the cross-bearer altar boys? Yes, I am, Father. You are always at the church. How come you have not been coming for confessions when you know it is very important? I am so sorry, Father. It's okay. Go on with your confession. Yes, Father. Uh, Father, know that I'm... I'm a virgin. I've been having sex with my girlfriend for a very long time now. Holy Father. Mary, Mother of God. I, I couldn't bring it to confess, Father. So, when have you, since when have you been doing this? For, for a year now, Father. How many times? I don't understand, Father. I mean, how many times have you been committing this particular sin? For a very long time, Father. You see, Boniface, you have to stop. Yes. You have to stop and turn away from your evil ways. And I believe our good Lord will forgive you and accept you back. Thank you, Father. So, who is this girl you have been committing this sin with? She just left before me now, Father. Stefanora, you mean? Yes, Father. It, it's okay. It's okay. Uh, you, you go say one, our Father, one Hail Mary and one Glory be. Go and sin no more. Thank you, Father. Stop, please stop. Uh, uh, What's stop. the problem? Uh, yeah. See, if you, you, you know that if you start kissing me now, I, I can't control myself again. Just stop, please. What's the meaning of that? Eh? Yes, we have to stop having sex. Father John advised me to, to stop having sex because it is very, very, very wrong. I see. 
the confession we went to write. But the same Father John said that God is an ever forgiving Father. He will forgive us our sins. Oh, see, eh? see, let me tell you. Oh. He said I should, I should focus on my studies. She focus on your studies. Yes, yes. He's no God. We can do what we want. Eh? He's no God. See, see, Steph. See, I like you. But <sighs> we can be friends. Let's just let's just be friends only. That is all. Please. No way. There's no way we'll remain friends without you making love to me. It cannot happen. No way. Eh? I can't expect me to be friends without making love to you. Eh? No, 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 no. Just stop, just stop. Steph, what happened? I expected you yesterday. Sorry, Father, I was busy yesterday. Oh, I see. Why is your face like that? What happened? What's wrong? Father, why did you tell my boyfriend to stop loving me? He has stopped loving me. Who is your boyfriend? I don't understand. Bonnie, we came together yesterday for confession. Oh, that. You see, I told him what I was supposed to tell him as your reverend father. Or were you expecting me to encourage him on fornication? Father. He has stopped loving me. I don't know what to do. <laughs> Can I ask you one question? Stopped loving you or stopped having sex with you? Both. The both, father. <sighs> you see, Steph, we have to get things straight here and we have to take this one step at a time. Love and sex are two different things entirely. If after the confession, Bonnie, you said, right, decides to change from his old ways, then let him be. Father, how can I do that? I can't cope without him being around me, without him touching me. My exams, who will do that for me, it, Father? It, it, it's okay. You just have to let him be. Let him be. I see. That you are wicked and you are jealous. Because I allowed you to sleep with me, it will not happen again. It won't. See, Steph, this is not what you have to get angry about. Okay? You just have to calm yourself down. So, um, uh, this time around, I'm going to make you scream loud. So loud. What happens to my exams, Father? Who is going to bring in written papers for me? You have to fix this, though. You have to. You see, you don't have to worry about that, okay? I will teach you. Okay? Everything is going to be fine. Come and kiss me. You are sick. Like, you are sick. Get out. You see, I have a meeting with the church members, please. The meeting can wait. You promised me any time I want it. Yes, I, I did. I know I did. But you know, someone might walk in. Okay. Please. I'll shut the door and we'll have a quick meeting. Okay. my virginity yesterday. I've been keeping it. But yesterday my 
My boyfriend forced me. I don't know what happened. He forced me. Father, he slept with me. He even made love to me three times. Father, I am finished, Father. You see, you are not finished, my daughter. Our God will always forgive you as long as you are ready to confess and forsake your sins. Okay? You okay. have to advise your boyfriend to come for confession. He's a Catholic, right? Yes, Father. Okay, advise him to come for confession. Then, if he continues to disturb you about sex, come and tell me, okay? Thank you, Father. Right. See me this evening for prayers and counseling. Thank you, Father. But before then, you have to say one decade of rosary and one Our Father, one Hail Mary, and one Glory. Thank you, Father. Go and see me. Thank you, Father. Why are you avoiding me? You know that I love you so much. Why are you avoiding me instead? If you love me, prove it. How? How, Step? How? You don't ask me how. Don't pretend. Anyway, why are you always seen coming out from Father Jumbo School's quarters? Aproko, I know you people have been talking about me, but I don't care a bit. Ah, I don't understand. You denied me, and you refused teaching me. Father Jumbo School has been teaching me. You think I'll fail my exams? I won't fail. You are confusing me the more, but. Does it mean that Father John Bosco now teach you? Uh-uh. But I never refused to teach you. I've never, my dear, I've never refused to teach you. Just that I, I, I said no to sex with both of us. Eh? Is it not the same thing? You know I cannot stay without having it. You know that. So you mean that Father John Bosco now gives you sex? Hey, say what you know. My hands are clean. Okay, okay, okay. I, I am very sorry. Let's let just come back together now, please. Now, eh? Okay? Be cool. Eh? Well, oh. I don't know. Father John Bosco seems to be a better teacher than you. God. Eh? See, 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 see. Please, 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 please. Let's let, let just come back together. I don't want to lose you now, Be cool. I don't want to lose you. Please. Eh? Well, I'll think about it. And you need to stop chasing me the way you do. When I'm done thinking, I will let you know. Hey, Steph. Ooh. Steph. Steph. Steph, please. Steph. I see the Reverend Father. He promised to give me some books for my exams. Hey, yeah. Oh, that's very thoughtful of him. Make sure you didn't stay long. Come back early. Eh? You know we have not prepared the evening meal for your daddy. So do not stay long. No problem, Mama. But Mama, I'll go and see my friend Angela before going. Well, anything you want to do, do. But do not stay far. Come back early. Are you hearing me? Yes, Mama. Endeavor to tell Father John that I'm sending my greetings. Mm -hmm. eh? When my corn gets harvested, I'll send some across to him. No problem, Mama. Do that. No, Mama, I have to go and change before I go. Okay, okay. My regards to him. No problem, Mama. Yeah.
Please come alone. I don't like crowd. Okay, Father. I will not make a mistake. It's sorry. okay. It's okay. Um, next week I will get you books. Okay. Then tell your sister Opie to see me. My sister. Yes. No problem. I do that. All right. Thank you, Father. Have a good day. to come back. He actually never left me, but I did. You see, you, you don't need to go back to him. Don't go back to him. You don't need him. But I'm going to marry someday. And you cannot marry me. Is Bonnie going to marry you? Eh? See, don't worry yourself about the marriage of the thing. When you're right for marriage, I should know. Father, I'm not going to Please. I'm going to have the church. And I'm running late, please. Father, I can't go outside. Just please make love to me. I told you I have a program to show. Oh, I have a program to host, please. Please. I can't go outside. Just touch me. See, I took this pants I got for you. Yes, Father. And my sister's. I hope you didn't tell your mom about it. You know yeah. mothers, they can be protective. Yeah, I don't tell my mom about Okay, that's good. You see, I told you something last time that I was going to teach you. 
see, I got protectives and I'm going to use them away. And trust me, you're not going to get pregnant and nobody will know about it. But further, I've not done that before. Yes, I know. That is more reason you have to try it. Okay? I hope you cleaned yourself up very well. Yes, Father. But I'm feeling things. <laughs> um, I'm sorry. Don't worry about the pains, okay? It's going to stop by. Please make sure you don't tell any of your friends about this. And trust me, I'll get you painkillers. Okay? And by the time you come again, I will get you a good form. Hmm. Father, are you serious? Yes, I'm very serious. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Sit down. It's okay. It's a good story. I'll get you. Father John Bosco, no? You mean Father John Bosco bought you an iPhone, Choma? And very lovely phone. Oh no, my God! And he has been buying pants for all of us. That's not fair. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe we'll still get you a phone. Besides, I used to go and give him of my mom. Even me too. Last week, I gave him the potato my mother bought. And he tried to... Uh, I just stopped going there. I don't understand. It's Shoma, the truth is I don't understand that man. But the fact is that he should have bought food for everyone. I don't know. I don't know. Hey, fool. You will soon know. Angela, Angela, come now. Angela. At the same church. I've seen you around this place before. Maybe. 
Are you sleeping with Father John Bosco? Jesus. Ah, please, oh. I don't know what you're talking about. I only come here for him to help me out with my mass assignments. I don't know what you're saying. I see. He teaches me biology as well. He must be very intelligent to teach you biology. I hope he's good at it. Well, he tries. So, the mathematics, is he good as well? Anyway, I don't really have much to say. He started teaching me newly, but he tries. So, I got to go. Please, what's his name again? Steph. the game father John is playing and I'm beginning to love him so much but why do I see other girls in his quarters I'm sure he's sleeping with them as well God what have I gotten myself into I have to see this to the end I have to Mary we are adults you don't seem to be worried like I am. Worried about what? Mary, the biology I told you Father John Bosco teaches me. I didn't mean it. <laughs> well, I am not a kid, I know. Father John Bosco sleeps with you. And he sleeps with you as well. Anyways, I enjoy his love making and I won't stop. God, I'm finished. Father John Bosco sleeps with me as well. I know. And I've told you before. I've told you this. I knew about it. Mary, I have a boyfriend. And Father John Bosco stopped me from seeing him. Father John Bosco brainwashed him at the confession. Oh. Steph. I advise you, you go back to your boyfriend if you're tired of John Bosco. As for me, I don't care to know how many girls he sees or sleeps with. I don't know about it. As for me, I'll keep on with him. What? Yes. Steph, uh, uh, Father John Bosco is a reverend father. And a man of God at that. Mm. And he's not going to marry any of us. So, Steph, babe, let it go. So, let's, let's keep working, please. Let's start going. Babe, you can be you can be friends. You can be friends. Friends? Yes. How? Yes, you can be friends. You know, Father John Bosco.